everyone welcome to my channel again uh, today I will tell you and show you how to grow Malabar spinach uh, some people know it as a Puishak Malabar spinach or any other name uh, actually growing Malabar spinach is very easy it grows very well in uh, warm uh, weather especially in tropical weather but if you live in cold weather still you can grow Malabar spinach uh, during the summer time but in cold weather country because the summer the span of summer is very short so what so what you have to do is uh, you have to grow the seed indoors I mean you have to germinate the seed indoors to give them a head start when the summer comes then you have to take the plants outside the Malabar spinach takes three to four months time from the time you uh, sow the seed uh, till the time when you can harvest the Malabar spinach so to give them a head start germinate the seed indoors so what you have to do to germinate the seeds, you have to soak the seeds into the lukewarm water if you live in very cold weather country. So leave the, soak the seeds for about uh, half an hour to 40 minutes. Then take the seeds into a white tissue or kitchen towel. Then put, them, put the kitchen towel uh, inside a box. Then place the box in a warm place like uh, a boiler on top of the boiler or next to the radiator or wherever the one place is available in the indoors so within two to three days you will see the seed has sprouted so once you can see the sprout of the seed you can plant the seeds uh, let them to uh, to let them to grow so as you can see here as i have explained i have germinated those seeds back in march so they have germinated within three days and after germination of the seeds I have placed each of those seeds into the cell as you can see here and I placed the tray in one place again obviously I use the propagator tray as usual because uh, in the UK it is really really cold today is 28th of April but still the temperature is fluctuating in between 2 to 6 or 11 during the daytime but it still is cold so, but for the Malabar spinach to grow, the temperature has to be minimum of 18 degree plus. They love hot weather. Without hot weather, they don't germinate and grow. Even if the seeds germinate, they will not grow at all. So that's, that's why, you know, I have planned last year, obviously, I have sown the seeds straight away to the plot or to my garden. Uh, but it took long time for them to germinate and to grow. So this year, I have decided to grow the plant indoor and I'll take them out. So as you can see, after the germination of the seed, I have placed those seeds into the cell of the tray. Then I place them into the uh, propagator, heated propagator. And within seven to eight days, uh, they have uh, grown. Even with, the, as I mentioned, they love hot weather, they love warm. Without hot temperature or warm temperature, they don't, they don't grow. So we, even with the help of the heated propagator tray, it has taken almost eight days to, uh, to shoot out the plants. So as you can see here, they are looking very nice. So I'm planning them, uh, I'm planning to take them uh, to my garden by the middle of uh, May, I mean next month. I hope the temperature will pick up by the middle of May, of, uh, although the temperature is very low still. So I hope by the middle of May, the temperature will pick up and I will take them to the ground. So you have to, if you have already uh, germinated and uh, grown the plants, so you can uh, take them out to the ground by the man. But if you don't, still there is enough time uh, for the Malabar spinach to germinate the seeds and uh, to grow the plants. And obviously, even if you take the plants by the end of May to the garden, still there's plenty of time uh, for the Malabar spinach to grow and harvest. So these, these are the two Tress, uh, I have grown for this year as you can see here and uh, I thought that you know this is not sufficient for me those plants are not sufficient for me that's why I have been growing another uh, tray here as you can see uh, some of them have already germinated and uh, some of them are shooting out of the cell as you can see so as I said, if you want to grow Malabar spinach for this year, still there is enough time, it's not late. You can uh, germinate the seeds, uh, as I mentioned, and you can uh, grow the plants. So when you uh, grow the Malabar spinach, uh, they need 
uh, lots of nutrient nutrition to grow and uh, for the mind to get healthier and uh, bigger so you have to prepare the ground very well you have to apply lots of manure especially horse manure or any other man uh, any other compost uh, whatever is available uh, to you and uh, in the uh, of course you have to dig the ground very well as well as you have to apply other fertilizer as well like phosphate or bromo granules whichever is available then you have to once you plant the malabar spinach plants you have to water them uh, regularly every other day or every day depends on the temperature if it is very hot i would say you have to water them every day so last year i have grown malabar spinach very successfully and i had a very happy harvest so i hope this year i will have the same and uh, obviously i'll uh, keep in touch with you i'll be posting uh, to share my joy and experience how they are growing uh, please stay tuned if you are new to my channel i would like to request you to subscribe my channel as well as press the like button and share with others thank you very much thanks for watching bye